Learning motion design is a long process, especially in the beginning. It's easy to overlook small details that ruin your design, honestly, but can be fixed so quickly. In this video, I'll show you five simple tips to instantly improve your style frames, especially if you're working in a flat, clean geometric style. As usual, these are my five cents. You do. You take what works for you and ignore what doesn't. Tip number one, add variety to your background elements. Don't let your background elements feel static and boring. By giving them variety in size and visual weight, especially through color, you add depth and interest. A few well-placed larger or smaller but darker elements can balance the composition. Tip number two, declutter your scene less is more. Do you really need hundreds of buildings, a dozen clouds and a forest in the background? Focus on elements that actually contribute to your story. A cluttered scene can distract the audience from the main message. And we're here to tell stories, aren't we? The goal is to get the ideas out. Tip number three, use contrast for depth. You don't need complex perspectives to create depth. Simply add contrast with darker shapes. For example, when illustrating a building, darker one side of it. This creates an illusion of depth and helps your focal elements stand out. Many of you send me your work on Instagram and I'm flattered that I can inspire you. Some of the small mistakes I see over and over are what inspired me to make this video. What do you think? Should I make more content like this? If so, feel free to DM me your work on Instagram. Thank you. Tip number four, balance your color palette. This tip is closely related to the previous one. Your color palette should be rather contrasting in color and in depth, meaning there should be light and dark shades as well as contrasting tones. Unless you know exactly what you're doing and are aiming for a low contrasting design, otherwise try to use contrasting pairs of colors. Last but not least, increase negative space around key elements. Your main elements, especially characters, need room to breathe. If they are surrounded by too much clutter, they lose their importance. Adding negative space around key elements will make them more prominent and the message clearer for the viewer. Check out my video on complete workflow. Also, there is a source file of a full explainer video on my Patreon shop. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.